All right, so we're back with another Pro Tools quick tip. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you everything you need to know about adjusting clip gain in Pro Tools. So if you're just getting started with the software or maybe you have a little bit of experience under your belt, you may or may not be adjusting your clip gain using the clip gain fader, which can be found right over here, as you can see which is a perfectly acceptable method. I actually started out using this method and there's nothing inherently wrong with it, but I will tell you this, in the long run, you will notice that it becomes a little bit less efficient if you're gonna be editing like bigger projects like films. And especially when you get into some really like intense dialogue editing, like it's, it's just gonna be a lot more efficient if you learn this invaluable keyboard shortcut, which, is control shift scrolling the mouse wheel up and down obviously once you've got a clip selected so selecting this clip i'm going to press control shift and scroll my mouse wheel up and down and as you can see i'm adjusting the clip gain this way which is pretty interesting because you can actually do it very quickly you know you can just kind of like you know instead of like you know fiddling with the fader and maybe missing it especially once you're like zoomed out and you got like a you know, a lot of sections, or maybe you want to highlight an entire section and adjust the clip gain like that. So it's a lot quicker. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys is that editing this way is going to be a lot more efficient. And another cool thing that you can do using this method that would not be possible otherwise using the clip gain fader is that if you select a section of a clip, or like a region like this, you can actually adjust its volume independently from the rest of the clip. So what that looks like is this. So, and as you'll see, it didn't make any cuts in the clip. So it's actually, it still considers it one clip, which is pretty cool, but you just have to be a little bit careful because it's a little bit more difficult to backtrack uh, once you've done this. And I'll just give you a demonstration. So if I'm pressing Command Z, it's actually undoing it in steps. So before committing to this, you you know you just want to make sure that everything worked out correctly and that um, you know it doesn't sound choppy or anything like that. But that's a pretty much it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it makes your audio post production process that much more efficient. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.